Hello and welcome. Today I wanted to do a review of the new Black Blade from Ripper Blades. Now for anybody who didn't recognize this setup, uh, this is the Darksaber setup. This is something that you saw in Clone Wars, in Rebels, and more recently in The Mandalorian. So it's a Mandalorian Darksaber uh, that you see in the hands of many different people, including Darth Maul and Previsla. Um, this saber itself is from Kaizen Sabers, and it's called their Dark Psy. And for me, this is the best of the uh, Dark Saber sabers that are on the market. But I wanted to talk about the blade here today, so let's talk about this. Uh, this is the new black blade from Ripper Blades. Now, Ripper Blades has been making black, saber, or black blades, specifically this design of blade, for quite a while. As a matter of fact, one of their first blades was a black blade. It might have even been there first. Uh, the first blade has kind of been lost to history, but the um, this is an artifact here. Uh, this was their first beveled blade. Now, if you uh, let me get you a close up on this, you see the etch work on there. And you've got some little shims right here. So this was very much a prototype of its time, and this is. Uh, about 11 years old now, so this was uh, this was one of the first, actually the first of the beveled blades. Uh, the end was actually beveled a little bit differently, which is an interesting thing I don't see too much on their designs. So they started off with this, and then they started making other black blades. They moved to this design uh, that looks a lot more like the black blade from the uh, from the cartoon. Uh, this one, they started blacking it out, and the original ones were a little bit blacker uh, with etching through. Then they started using this sort of smoky finish. You notice you can still see my hand through it, but it is blackened. Uh, let me light one of these up real quick. All right, so here's where it started. Uh, let me turn this to just a solid color. So here it is with a blue. So this was the original. You notice you can see through it anywhere that there isn't etching. Then there was the V2. Okay, it's blacked out. You can still kind of see through it and the lightning really pops and crackles. Lights up around the edges. And then there's the V3, the new one. Much more uniform finish, lighting up on the edges and more of a solid black in the middle. So very different look from the last. When you see it with the light out, you can't see through this one like you can with the others. It is solid black, so that's something that he's been working on to create a solid black saber that somehow or another still manages to light up. Uh, the interesting thing about this saber, you noticed when I first turned it on when the video started, uh, it had that rainbow effect. One of the interesting things about uh, Ripper Blades, or Blades in general, uh, is you get this thing called color unmixing. Uh, a tri-crease saber that's got color changing in it doesn't use a white LED. Some sabers do, and if you just run a white LED through this, all it is is white around the edges, just like it was just blue. But if you run a, uh, if you if you're trying to get white out of a tri-crease, you turn the red, the green, and the blue on full, and it blends to make a white. The thing is, though, the dyes on the uh, the LED are in three different places. So if I were using a tube blade, it would just be white or silverish. When I'm using something like this, that means the light is hitting this acrylic in three different places with three different colors. And as it travels up the blade, different colors are going to come out in different places. So let me go ahead and uh, show you that real quick. See what I'm talking about? We have blue and purple and pink down here, green and yellow up here, and then we blend back to pink with a little bit of white and yellow in the middle. 
So you end up with this really interesting rainbow effect. Uh, now the thing about the new blade, again, that's interesting, if you watched a recent video that I did about uh, the Ripper Blades uh, acrylic prototype, or uh, photon plot or prototype, this one was a solid piece of acrylic. This one is a solid piece of acrylic blackened with lightning and etching in it. This one is three different pieces of acrylic. So if I show you the blade plug right there, you see those three in parallel, clear in the middle and black to the outside and blended? This is that same kind of technology that he used in that photon to get that black. He's actually using black acrylic as opposed to a black dye that's just sort of translucent. So the effect on this is much blacker, much more pure, or uh, much more pure color than uh, than some of his or, or than some of the earlier models. There's something to be said for this lightning one, and I still really like it. But uh, this this is a sleek beast, and it looks a lot more like what the dark saber looks like these days in a lot of the uh, reference material. So that is a little bit of a retrospective uh, on the Ripper Black Blade but uh, mostly a look at the Black V3 and how it differs from the others. If you've enjoyed this, then please join me back for more videos. There's a different Black Blade I'm going to be looking at pretty soon here that's a prototype, and I'll see you for that one.